All right, guys, so I just wanted to do a quick video on my slash. Uh, this is a total update video. I didn't plan on doing this today because I still have one more thing to do for it, but I wanted to um, I wanted to share with you what I got going on here. So there it is. You can see the body's a little beat up from the last time. I actually have a brand new body coming um, just for another one just to leave when I have it on display. But uh, a little scratched up, but takes a beating. Um, so you'll notice right away there's some differences and you can see by these tires that they're different so first of all I upgraded everything on this with RPM and I'm gonna take the body off in a second but I, I went ahead and did everything RPM with this um, let me just take this off I'll just show you so all this is RPM brand new RPM uh, arms everything carriers got the Proline dual stage shocks in here the same ones I put on my Telluride which is awesome by the way but with these, because I wanted this thing to sit lower, I want to eventually get the uh, Proline low center of gravity chassis. But for now, because I'm not putting another 100 in this, I, I just took the, um, the second stage out of these. And normally what happens is when you do that, it would, like when it goes on a jump or um, lifts up, the shock, uh, the spring would actually come off this cup. But all I did was zip tied it right on. And you can see it kind of comes off of this one, but it will not go anywhere. It always falls right in the right spot. So... That's what I did, and that just keeps it low. These shocks are awesome, so it doesn't even bottom out. Um, and it's got plenty of adjustment without that second stage. So I did that front and rear. Um, you can see on the back here, this is the business end for this baby. So I got the wheelie bars, which it's done a wheelie maybe once or twice. <laughs> to be honest with you, this thing's got so much rip now. It does not do wheelies, it does donuts. <laughs> and burns out, which I've got. I actually did a video this morning of me doing a burnout with this thing. Totally stupid, not even anything you're probably going to normally do with these, but I wanted a different one, and this is what I did with it. It's just my toy, you know? So, got the wheelie buzz on there. Um, shocks are great. So, you can see, first of all, so this does have the Pro Line, I'm sorry, the RPM transmission, um, and I have a hot racing um, locked diff, so there's no more, um, you know, it's no more um, regular diff that comes with this. It's locked. So, both wheels rip up at the same time. Um, one thing you'll notice too, it does have the Proline Street Fighter tires on it. Very nice tire. Uh, very soft. So, um, you'll see in the video, I had the fronts on, but not the backs because I'm doing burnouts and messing around with it. Um, they really don't hook up any better. The ones that hook up the best are the, um, those dirt tracks ones I had on before. So, those ones are pretty good. So, I did the upgrade of the Castle, um, Sidewinder, I think this is. Sidewinder 3. Uh, it does up to a three cell lipo which you can see is in here um, it does have the expansion kit on there so it lifts up so i can fit the three cell uh, this is a 5700 um, kv motor i was actually going to go nuts and do a 77 but no need i um it would have been too fast this thing's already way too fast i gotta get it at an open parking lot to do it As you see in the video i'm just doing mess around in my driveway really not getting any speed um when i take it to the parking lot that's open i will show you guys but so I do have it programmed, and I'm going to be digging into it again today with the Castle Link. Love it. Um, the one thing that was supposed to come in this weekend, but took a little longer, and they're not, they won't be here till probably Tuesday, is I did the, um, the MIP shafts. That's the only thing left to do. Um, you can see I do already have the spacers here. When you do the shafts, you're supposed to buy these spacers separate. There's the item number. They go between the bearings. Um, it doesn't tell you that, and you're not, you don't have to do them. But it just takes a little bit of the extra slop out. Um, one thing I, I did pick up two of these hot racing, I think they are, yeah, hot racing hack uh, hex wheel hubs. I bought these for the four wheel drive slash. And I was gonna put them on my Telluride. They suck. They don't even tighten on, so those are trash. Um, I'm hoping these are gonna work. If they don't, I am gonna be bullshit. But whatever. I mean, that's what you get. I don't normally. I'm not a fan of hot racing stuff, energy stuff. Not really a fan of it. Um, but the cheap, I was going to put them on. We'll see. They don't tighten on. I'm not, uh, just, I'll leave the stock plastic ones on. It really doesn't matter. Um, but that's it really for the main upgrades. I'm actually, because this isn't waterproof anymore, so I'm actually going to, so I can get to the cast link. I'm going to cut this out. When I had this, I uh, had a slash originally when they first came out, I cut this out just so I could get to the programming, so I can get to my spectrum in there. So I'm going to cut that out today, um, which is no big deal. But, but that's it. I mean, I... I love this truck. Um, you can see, so here's the tires I've been doing 
messing around with. These are the stock ones. They get some wear to them, some burnouts. Um, good tires, but you know, nothing too amazing. Uh, but that's it. So I'm going to roll in some footage from earlier. Nothing crazy, just me screwing around with it. Um, trying to get a good tune on it. I had, I started out with a 15 tooth pinion. Way too low. I think I got an 18 in there now. It could probably use a 22, 24. That'll really get the speed. Um, it's got a lot of torque right now, so that's why it's ripping donuts and burnouts. So, But it does. I didn't take a video of it, but on concrete, on my concrete sidewalk, punching it full throttle from a dead stop, it lays rubber, which I have never seen an RC car lay rubber, and this thing lays rubber. So it's awesome. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to roll in those videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you like these videos. Um, that's it. We'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Guys, can you slash do a burnout? Aftermath of the burnout from the slash. <laughs> I love this pausy rear end in this thing. <laughs>